all right good evening all right guys welcome loves um pisces you're up all right but the vibes that i'm getting aren't really very good all right um i don't know i've noticed the longer i'm on youtube different people come and go um and i've been noticing like a pattern of like a change in like energy when it comes to different zodiac signs from when i first started um so i don't know what is going on here but um i'm getting like an like exposure okay so i don't know we'll see what the cards say right um but yeah that's just what i keep getting is exposure all right so i don't know if it has to do with like um exposure as in like photos um something wrong with that or if I, it's being exposed for something i don't know we're gonna look here pisces okay and see what's going on because yeah that's all i'm really getting like i'm not getting like anything other than exposure so i don't know or maybe you need to expose yourself you know your true authentic self you know what i mean maybe that's what it's about i don't know we're gonna take a look here and see all right, what's going on here um, with the Pisces Collective? <laughs> My cats. They were outside, so, um, yeah. Yeah, it don't matter. Like, people that, you know, freak out about animals in the cold in the winter and stuff like that, well, trust me. It's, it's just like everything, you know. Only the strong are going to survive, right? And they can survive a lot of fucking shit. All right. It's like, I always tell people like, you know, of course to us humans, we're freaking cold, right? Of course we are. Because we, we, the little bit of hair that we have on our body doesn't do really anything, right? Um, it just kind of protects our skin a little bit, but it doesn't keep us warm. So animals have like freaking thick ass fur and they have undercoats and fat reserves and they generate um, heat different. So... All right, last shuffle here. I don't know why we're going into that, but it's got a glimpse of the moon. Oh, okay, getting a glimpse of that moon and then seeing the freaking tower here. All right, so I'm getting here that you have a decision to make, okay? And it's like the decision has a lot to do with some sort of exposure. But I'm also getting like, you can either keep things a secret, but eventually things are going to um, come to light. All right. Let's see what's going on with the Two of Pentacles for Pisces and the Tower. What's going on there? Oh, God. Oh, jeez. So I'm kind of getting here that you're being served up some karma, Pisces. All right. I mean, to have these cards here um, with the Tower and the Two of Pentacles. Because the Five of Cups is kind of like maybe some regret. All right. Because we have double karma here with the justice and the karma card. I mean, come on now. And then we have the death of the five of cups. So what the fuck is going on here, Pisces? What's going on here for Pisces? Oh, got the magician here with the seven of swords. All right, so maybe you did some sneaky ass shit. All right. Maybe you're sneaking around. What is going on here for the five of cups here? The justice, the karma, and the death. All right. Oh, my God. And then we have the freaking Ten of Swords. Like, what is this? What is this? Oh, my God. And there you are. Spell work. Yeah. Oh, 
Oh, Pisces, what happened here? Confirmation message with the page. Oh, my God. Okay, Pisces, what'd you do? All right, because I feel like you're really, like, going through a lot of fucking shit. But I feel like you're kind of keeping it a secret. And I'm also getting that, like, you are, like, regretting something or you will be regretting something. All right. Okay. And I was just going to say that too. The one thing with spell work is it's, it's like a lot of like, you got to let it, you got to let it in, right? You got to like believe that this is happening to you, right? Um, I feel like it, it's a mind. It could be like mind spell work. All right. But I'm not really getting, like, a negative. I'm kind of getting, like, to see the light. All right? Because it's like you're, like, you're hiding a lot. You're keeping a lot inside. All right? It's like, it's, like, self-destruct. I feel like you're going, moving into self-destruct. We have another ten with the three of freaking swords. Like, what the hell is this? If you're, I feel like you're going through a lot of like mental anguish. All right. It's like a mind spell almost. But then again, I'm also getting like, this is what happens when you lie to yourself. All right. Because the 10 of swords can be like a self inflicting, like your thoughts create your own shit. Right. And it's like, you kind of bring it on yourself. So what happened here? Because I feel like this is weighing like on you big time. All right. Heavily. I feel like this pain is unbearable. God, we have here the eight of, we have double eights in between the freaking temperance here. So I feel like there's, I don't know what you have going on here, but I feel like, let me see, what is with these? Because I'm just getting like infinity, like loop. What is with the eight of wands, the eight of swords, and the temperance? Maybe you're stuck on a fire sign. Like your thoughts, the communication, the words, all right? So maybe somebody cursed you just with their fucking words or did some sort of like just with the words. It's kind of what I'm getting here. I feel like they hurt your feelings too because that's like the second time the page of cups wanted to come out. All right, so I feel like they hurt your feelings too. They said something and you just can't get it out of your head. We, yeah, we have the four of swords. It's like you're having a difficult time. Maybe you're like some maybe you're like a cunning ass person here. But you are all in your freaking thoughts here. Like bad. And it's like you can't seem to escape them. These words are just like constantly running in your mind here. And I feel like there was like quick, fast movement. Yeah, we have here the magician here. Um, so yeah, and then we got the hierophant there. So yeah, I feel like somebody did something here. They have the power just to say things and voila. What the fuck? Oh my God. Yeah, somebody, somebody did some shit. I knew that spell work shit was, yeah. All right, what is... What does Pisces need to do? What does Pisces need to do? You guys, look at that. I mean, come on now. You are stressing the fuck out. Oh, come on. Okay. Ten of Pentacles here. The Queen of Wands with the Emperor. Reclaim your power. All right. 
what is with the Emperor, the Queen of Wands? I just saw the Eight of Pentacles. What is with the Eights? I'm getting like a loop. Like you, like a loop that you guys go through. What the fuck is this? It's almost like the Wheel of Fortune, like cycles. Like it just keeps happening. And then it come, and then y'all come back around again. Yeah, but maybe this time it'll be long term with the Ten of Pentacles here. All right, so let's get for the Emperor, the Queen of Wands, and the, uh, yeah, we have here the Four of. I feel like somebody thinks you're a fucking narcissist, Pisces, yeah. That's kind of what I'm getting. And I feel like if you are dealing with the fire sign with the Queen of Wands here or an Aries, a Sag, um, I feel like they're like almost like they've had it like but i also feel like you fear rejection like that would crush you yeah i feel like your thoughts are creating fears all right let's wrap this up here Yeah, it's like I'm not really getting like a negative, you know, when it comes to this. We have here the chariot. All right, but this is going to be a success here. All right, yeah, see, a freaking reunion. All right, you argue, you fight, something happens, boom, there's the world. All right, it's like, it's all for you to acknowledge your real self. It's like I said, I'm not getting anything real bad. It's like you, you got a lot of inner childhood wounds that... You need to focus on here. You, you got some growth to focus on. All right. You got some old thought patterns, beliefs that aren't serving you. All right. That you need to leave behind. All right. So let's get some advice here from the guardians. Let's get some advice here for the Pisces. Let's get some advice here got a glimpse of the spiritual experiences so yeah these cycles are helping you learn so you can um step out of your self node here we wow we have two cards back to back that tell you to see and grow within your current situation here okay so important information it could be the message here uh that's being delivered we do have here the mirror gu mirror guardian which is time to reflect it's that four of sword energy all right so, yeah, this is to help you grow and see beyond current situation. There's the moon. Take note of intuitive messages. We have here, fearless and bold like the warrior. And we do have here, uh, release the old and rest. Time to reflect this fall. All right. So, yeah, you just need to be fearless and bold. Unleash the wild here. All right. Exchange your energy to create abundance. Is that ten of pentacle energy? Yeah, see, there's that spiritual experience I saw. All right, and there's the crow. So learn from these spiritual experiences and cycles, and it's helping you unlock the magic within you. All right, exchanging your energy so you can have abundance. All right, so if you're dealing with somebody and you guys keep having fall, uh, fall, like falling outs, it's all to help you grow. We have the animal guardian here that tells you to trust your instincts. All right. You guys are here to, yeah, and stand your ground like a fucking mountain here. All right. Yeah. There it is again. Yeah. You guys are like, and there's the high priestess again. We saw that with you. So it's like harness your power and do something here. Move in a different direction. All right. So I'm going to leave that there. Have a good day.